But the worst enemy you can meet will always be yourself. You lie and wait for yourself in caverns and forests. Lonely one, you are going the way to yourself, and your way goes past yourself, and past your seven devils. You will be a heretic to yourself, and witch, and soothsayer, and fool, and doubter, and unholy one, and villain. You must be ready to burn yourself in your own flame. How could you become new? if you had not first become ashes. These words may seem like a mess of poetic gibberish, but can we describe life as anything else? The path to discovering oneself, one's true self, is a mess of obstacles, deceptions, adventures, and pain. But one thing philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche wanted to communicate to us was there is no other way to live life. Hidden in the old and strange language of this passage is a warning of what this path will entail. You will become an enemy to yourself, an opponent of yourself as you ascend past the restrictions you have placed on your life to avoid fear of the unknown. But, as he tells us, if one wishes to blaze a trail out of the small-minded reality we and society create for ourselves, we must burn it all. To find yourself, you must die and be reborn. Setting the prophetic jargon aside for a moment, let us ask the question simply. How do you find yourself? Well, this is kind of an odd thing to say, isn't it? Sure, we sort of know what people mean when they say this, but we too often associate this process with some sort of external experience. Your true self isn't out there waiting for you to get it. It isn't waiting for you to pack up and move across country or backpack across Europe. Your true self exists right in front of you, in between the lines of your everyday life and your past experiences. Think of your life as a puzzle. Some people's puzzles are easier than others. Some people have really difficult and confusing puzzles. For some people, it is painful to even think about their life puzzle, and others are given a halfway complete puzzle right from the start. Regardless of how much of a mess it is, there is no one who can assemble it except for us. When you let other people put their pieces into your puzzle, you let them put in pieces that don't fit into the whole thing, and just make it more confusing for you. The world does not come preloaded with any kind of meaning. There are no directions for the puzzle. We imbue the world with meaning, just as only we have the pieces to our puzzle. So why does this help us? Where do we start? We start by removing all of the pieces we have let other people put in over the years. That puzzle piece that says you shouldn't pursue that passion because you won't make a lot of money. That piece that says you're a bad person if you cut off that toxic family member. And that piece that says you aren't good enough to be what you want to be. You see, Nietzsche doesn't want us to burn it all. He wants us to burn the trash. All of the trash that people have thrown in our bin over the years to make us more like them. Everything that says what we should like, who we should hate, and how we should act. All it does is make us vessels for their thoughts. And if we want to discover ourselves, we need to let it all go. As you shed these given values and self-judgments, you may face consequences, both internal and external. You may judge yourself as your lingering values try to cling on for dear life. You may have friends and family judge you, and you may have to move on from some people. But know this, if there are people willing to lose you over an abstract idea based in hate and judgment, are they really people you should allow into your life? The journey is not for the faint of heart, and as you ascend into the heights of what the you that is truly you is capable of, there are some things that must be left behind. Even so, we must heed Nietzsche's warning. You must be careful not to become that which you seek to destroy, not to adopt a new abstract identity to replace the old one on your way to yourself. In short, if you want to find yourself, you need only look inside. You don't need to make some drastic gamble with your life. You just need to trust your own thoughts. Be patient with your own mistakes and follow your instincts. We all come with our own internal compass, so use it. Once we cut out all the noise, we can see clearly who we are, what we really want, and what we need to do. In essence, we are reborn as our true selves.